Okay, so good day to you. It might be night because this is a very quick video. Just to show you some feature of the new RTX card, uh, we went to Bangkok last week and we actually saw this demonstration but now we actually have the demo in our hands together yes. with RTX 2080 Ti from Zotac. So, okay, you do the explanation of what's this. Okay, this thing, well, this thing is actually the Asteroid demo for NVIDIA itself. It's one of the demo that has been used during our the regional media briefing in Bangkok. And this is the one that's the, that's, uh, they actually use this to demonstrate how their mesh shaders works. Yes, so the mesh shader here, as you can see, level of dynamic, level of detail is dynamic. Mm -hmm. So yes, let me show you. Uh, let us just go go through what's level of detail right here. So okay, we shall stay at this rock. You might get tyrophobia. I'm not too sure. It's a big rock. Yes. So we can disable LOD. This one is the variable LOD, and okay. then this one is at level of detail level zero, as you can see at the bottom mm -hmm. left corner, and then we can hit. Number one, and then we see level one detail, level two, level three, level four, level five, and level six. But you can see here at level zero, we can get very high FPS, about 71, 72. At level one, it starts to drop. Level two, it drops even further. Level three, and let's just skip to level six, which you can see it drops to just 10.33. And the rock still looks ugly as hell. Because it's an asteroid, so it's pretty much some asteroid already. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's ugly. And uh, we can actually see the number of wireframes. Okay, for. Uh, okay. Uh, this is kind of difficult to see, but. I mean, for a quick uh, explanation on how all this object works in 3D. Mm -hmm. So basically, in 3D, you have your objects that's composed of lot of tiny triangles but at this point at level zero on the level of details you can see that there's a lot of big triangles still there are triangles for our asteroids mm -hmm. so here you can see as we shift up the level of details you can see even more the amount triangles. of triangles gets increased yeah. which kind of explains uh, how complex it's getting mm -hmm. And you can see at the bottom left corner right here, the number of drawn triangles is about 611,000 mm. at level 1 of detail. So we can straight away jump to something like level 3 and you can see yes. there's like 5 million something number of triangles drawn. So let's just move a little bit closer. Is this even moving? Uh, there's a big rock in front. Okay, so <laughs> yes. Okay, let's just reverse a little bit and yes, you can see you the can big rock. See, okay, let's look at the rock. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay, let's break. So this rock right here, right in front of us, you can see. Uh, yeah, let's let's just pause that. Okay, it's composed of a lot of mini triangles, like similar to what um, Nvidia CEO Jensen one has presented during keynote at Gamescom. It's basically the same thing where all these triangles are kind of like... It's, I mean, in ray tracing, the ray will be colliding with all these mini triangles, but that's just for ray tracing. Mm. And this is actually the basic idea for you to know that all these 3G objects are actually made of all these mini triangles, so it take up the shape. Yeah. So, nah, a good example of early day graphics with this kind of 3D geometry stuff is Final Fantasy 7. We can oh, see Cloud Strife's square hand. That's the iconic square hand. Square hand, um, edgy hairs, I mean... Yeah, actually the edgy hair, hair, I would say it's more like a computational limit more than a fashion trend at the time. Or maybe... Both. That's an even better way to kind of tell you how all this geometry works with Triangle, which is Lara Croft. Oh yes! Triangle boobs. Yes. Yeah, the triangle boobs. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see now, you can get very good boob graphics with uh, something like what? Dead or Alive, Volleyball. Mm. Mm. Those are... Yeah. Yeah, uh, getting a bit lewd, but yeah, it's a bit more rounded. So as you can see, level 6, number of triangles drawn are about 
in the hundreds of millions. It's mm-hmm. still increasing right now. It's nine figures. But with that amount of triangles you have, you can see that the shape of the object is a lot more detailed. Yes, you can see the rock right in front of us. This one, then let me disable the wireframe to show you. This rock right in front. It's a lot more detailed. Mm-hmm. And you can see our frame rate is dropped to 4.3 with wireframe enabled. So once we disable it, it increased back to about 10.33, like just now, again, mm-hmm. not really good. Uh, obviously not playable at this frame rate, and uh, it's stuck at about 316 million triangles to be drawn. But Let, when let's we, just put it at 300, 300 million yeah. right now. So the new RTX feature is the mesh shading. Mm-hmm. So we can enable LOD right here and you can see our frame rate boosted right up to 40 something very playable yes number of drawn triangles has been reduced to 46 million and the perceivable graphic is still same it's or very similar. similar yes very similar you can see the big blob of shadows right there is very different but we can still see the outline of it has not changed. Yes, but as you toggle between enable and disable of the level of details, mm-hmm. you can see that the number of, we call it that kind of tessellation going on on the asteroid surface, right, has increased when you actually enable the level of details. Mm. So the basic idea behind this is that with uh, this dynamic level of details enabled, it kind of like, it focuses more on what's in front of you. Yes. It's similar to how you perceive things in real life where things in front of you gets more attention and the rest of the stuff around you is kind of blurred up because it's not in focus at all. Yeah, let us just, uh, there's also another option here to visualize the level of detail. So this is with the mesh shading turned on. Uh, yes, that's a good way. Yeah, this is much more better to see. So you can see blue color is with LOD 6, so it's with very high amount of detail. And LOD 0 is white in color, so anything that is in white, it's basically those space dust yes. particles. Space dust, those are not really given much attention. You can see the, the rock around the right side here is not given much attention. Yeah. And then that's pretty much the entire overall preview, I think, of the mesh shading. Um, it's still not being implemented in games yet, but NVIDIA made this demo to show us the capability and how it will improve your games. So you can see here when we drive further, the LOD changes, so this yes. is dynamic. Yeah, as, it, as we go nearer LOD 6, which is in this black color. Black is oh, dark. LOD 9, not even 6. It's that's even <laughs> so for yeah. stuff that's very clear, I mean very clear, it means it's point blank distance yeah point blank distance is gonna get very a lot of attention and you can see when we get nearer color just, changes just move closer to some of the asteroids with a lot of bumps or whatsoever a lot of bumps are this one no? okay this one is a good one and yes as we get closer Ooh. okay stop there good as we get closer here you can actually see the rough surface of this big chunk of rock or asteroid yes this is at level Oh, what is this? Oh, we disable LOD and you can see it's uh, still visible. Yeah, the small little tiny, I would, I would say shadows or just darker spots mm-hmm. and the crater lines, the shadows, everything is very detailed. And of course, this asteroid is still having a lot of rough surfaces when we rotate. Mm-hmm. We can see what's going on right there. Mm-hmm. Yes. So if you reverse, wait. If you reverse, you can actually see that a lot of things that we seen just now has been kind of disappeared. disappeared because the focus is no longer there, but yes. move towards what's nearer to us. Yeah, you can see. Oh, no, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. I, I, yeah, visualize LED. Wrong option. Okay, so can we even turn? Just move to other direction. Sure. Okay. Let's move to that purple thing. Okay, with this purple gigantic asteroid here. Yes, you can see the color changes. Yes. Oh, you can see here the colors are a bit weird. So, dark purple is level 7. Level 8 is this 
I don't know, it's near right. white color. Yeah, and then straightaway black color is the maximum level of detail. Yes. Yeah, and you can see as you go further away, you can't really see the dark patch around the top. Mm -hmm. Not not the dark patch, the the I mean there's the rough surface. surface. Yes. yes. So that's pretty much so it. So with that it actually gives you higher frame rates to I mean in overall because what's the point of you know pushing all the performance and changing what's not even close to you. Yeah, I would rather save some energy and make do whatever's yeah, possible. Yeah. Like that. And you can see as we fly further away, the whole thing just blends into one big smooth surface. Yeah, right? one, one, one splash of colour. So when we drive nearer, you can see it gets more details. More details. You can see this crater. It's so beautiful. Okay, so that's all for this quick demonstration. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and probably we'll see you in more of these kind of videos when Microsoft actually released their Windows 10 October 2018 update. Yes, for ray tracing, we are very excited to see how, how it actually works and how real time it is. And the most important thing is the impact in performance because we have yet to actually see how it will affect your overall gaming performance. Yes, it's going on real time and it's the best way for us to actually see how the dedicated hardware, mm -hmm. RT Core and Tensor Core works when it comes to games that come with all these oh. RTX features. Yeah, so far we haven't even seen anything with DLSS. Yeah, I mean there's demo with DLSS but with games that actually have all this DLSS content, mm -hmm. it's still not there yet because it requires some time for NVIDIA to actually train for the AI models. Mm -hmm. And game developers will have to send in their games, necessary data and details for NVIDIA to actually train for working, optimized, good looking AI models, which Gonna take quite a while. Yeah, as of now, what Nvidia told us is their queue for the games to train with the NGX is packed. <laughs> so, yeah, it will take a while. So, one more thing to show you guys is the uh, show wireframe, disable LOD. And then we can see the amount of detail at level 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's lagging like hell, so let's just disable wireframe and get back to the smooth playable frame rate. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.